Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss about protein structure and function in detail. So let's begin. Protein are the large biomolecule and also a macromolecule. Protein are formed by a long chain of amino acid residues. All the amino acid in the long peptide chain are bonded to each other through the peptide bond. And those linked amino acids are called as amino acid residues. The linked series of carbon, nitrogen and oxygen are known as backbone of protein or the main chain. Proteins are the unbranched polymer constructed from 22 standard amino acids and only those 22 standard amino acids have the ability to incorporate it into proteins. Proteins have four levels of structural organization. Uh, which are primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. For forming a protein, it should at least consist one polypeptide chain. Proteins are essential for organisms and they participate in every process within the cell. We can take those essential proteins in our diet and non-essential proteins are formed inside our body automatically. Remember, Proteins are heteropolymer and not a homopolymer that they are formed by series of different uh, amino acids so we call them as heteropolymer and homopolymer are those which are formed by repeating sequence of same amino acid so we call them as a homopolymer. Collagen is the most abundant protein in animal world. Uh, our nail, cartilage, hair, skin layer, connective tissues all are formed of the collagen protein. Ribolose, bisphosphate, carboxylase, oxygenase, in short Rubisco is most abundant protein in whole biosphere. Take, uh, they take part in photorespiration or in photosynthesis. Let's discuss the classification of proteins based on the structure. They are classified into primary, secondary tertiary and quaternary structure. Here you can see how primary structure gets more condensed and form secondary structure later got more condensed and form tertiary or quaternary structure. Let's discuss them in detail. Primary structure is formed when the different amino acid connect with each other by forming peptide bond in between them and form a long polypeptide chain and that's called as the primary structure of a protein. Primary structure provides the positional information of amino acid as you see in the diagram below that the first amino acid is known as N-terminal and the last amino acid of the chain is known as C-terminal and all the peptide chain have one N-terminal and one C-terminal present in them. Primary structure is the simplest structure of the protein. Secondary structure are formed by the combination of alpha helix and beta chain and the loops. Now alpha helix and beta sheets are the regular secondary structure while the loops are the non-regular secondary structure. Alpha helix and beta sheets are bonded to each other by a hydrogen bonds. Alpha helix have a helical conformation and alpha helix can be left handed or right handed and it depends that how alpha helix rotates. If alpha helix rotates towards the counterclockwise then we call it as left handed or if it rotates towards the clockwise then we call it as right handed. It is seen that right handed helix are more favorable because there is less steric clash between the side chain and the backbone so right handed helix are more stable than the left handed helix uh, structure most of the protein have right handed alpha helix because it's favorable for them to maintain the stability of the protein structure beta sheets have adjacent strand either in parallel direction or anti parallel direction as you can see in the uh, figure at your left side that uh, beta sheets have adjacent strands in them which uh, either moves towards the upper side or moves toward downer, downer side. So we call them as parallel or anti-parallel beta sheets. Now in 
beta sheet case also anti parallel beta sheets are more stable than comparison to the parallel beta sheets loop is a part which interconnects the different secondary structure if the loop is short, shorter then we call uh, them as a turn which generally have 3 to 6 amino acid residues example of secondary protein is collagen and the collagen is the most uh, important protein in the animal world or the abundant protein tertiary structure is a three dimensional conformation of a protein structure it is formed by the condensation of a long peptide chain long peptide chain usually folds upon itself like a hollow woolen ball tertiary structure is necessary for many biological activities of proteins for example uh, tertiary protein is myoglobin this protein is present in our muscle cell quaternary structure are composed by interaction of uh, two or more polypeptide chain when two or more polypeptide chain interacts with each other they form quaternary structure or we can say that if uh, more polypeptide chain uh, folds themselves then they will form a very condensed structure and that's known as the quaternary structure of protein they are bonded uh, by the non-covalent uh, interaction it can be van der Waal force or by hydrogen bond or any non-covalent interaction they are bonded to each other they are also called as multimeric proteins these subunits of quaternary structure are homo multimeric or hetero multimeric depend on uh, the sequence example of quaternary protein is hemoglobin this protein is present in the blood let's now discuss the function of proteins in detail and understand how important they play role in our life first is enzyme all enzymes are the proteins and uh, play very important role in catalyzing the chemical reaction for example trypsin is the enzyme formed of protein present in pancreatic juice help in the digestion of proteins and there are many various enzymes which are formed of uh, protein second proteins play important role in defense like immunoglobin and antibodies both are the formed by protein and they fight against the infectious agent and provide protection to us third is some of the hormone are also of formed of proteins for example insulin they release from pancreas and insulin play important role in controlling the blood glucose level fourth receptors and they are also a protein molecule present on the cell membrane and they function in cell signaling fifth is protein function as transporters we can see carrier protein or channel proteins present in plasma membrane helps in transporting the molecules from outside to inside or inside to outside of the cell the example of transporter protein is uh, GLUT4. It is also a transporter protein which transports glucose to the brain by crossing blood brain barrier. Collagen is the seven, which uh, is a protein connective tissue formed in a protein, formed of uh, a protein, and it is the most abundant protein in animal world and it play important uh, role in forming connective tissue in our body forming hair or nail or any kind of connective tissue so i hope you understand this video and all the concepts of protein on function and structure i hope you like this video thank you for watching this